we're trying to look at the impact of neuroscience knowledge on our sense of justice. And a way to summarize maybe a, a big uh, a project is to, uh, to say what one of the philosophers said in the, in the study groups uh, reminded us that uh, we are the law. And what does that mean? Well, it means that uh, uh, how we as a, a species, we humans, uh, think about ourselves uh, <clears throat> pretty much uh, sets up the framework for how we're going to deal with cheaters, people who are not doing their job, people who do harm, and, and all the rest of it. So when you have the basic insight that we are the law, then you realize that knowledge about who we are is going to, out there somewhere, change maybe how we think about the law. So to give a specific example, we're looking at the issue of uh, criminal responsibility. And uh, if you think about it, we live in this wonderful uh, world where, th where through science we see the fact that <clears throat> we live in a physical universe governed by physical laws. The idea of determinism is, rolls off our lips uh, rather easily and uh, often. And so it's uh, <clears throat> obvious that uh, if we think the, the physical world is determined and follows these laws, maybe our brains, which are part of the physical world, uh, follow certain rules and, and so therefore maybe what we do is determined. And uh, that is a, uh, that thought uh, is a thought that has sustained uh, college uh, bull room sessions for uh, <laughs> hundreds of years. But now neuroscience is weighing in and showing all the ways that uh, automatic processes and decisions of the nervous system seem to be made before uh, we're consciously aware of them. And you put all that together and the question then becomes in the extreme version of this argument, if we are determined, if something's kind of going to happen, like your wife knows what you're going to do anyway, <laughs> um, is, there a, is there new thinking that we should, uh, think, sh should have about what constitutes punishment? Uh, is it uh, not, as uh, Sanford Kaddish, the great lawyer from Berkeley say, is it not immoral? to uh, think of punishment when there's really no blame uh, if you took this determinism uh, idea uh, and extended it uh, in its literal form. So, uh, so this idea and this balance between how we think of ourselves and how we should think about a punishment and uh, retribution in its many dimensions and how we might want to change, how we deal with those questions are the large questions that this project uh, are going to uh, are, are, uh, we're, we're considering. The, the, the more immediate questions, and uh, I'll end with this, is uh, neuroscience is everywhere. It's, it's as you have heard. And so should neuroscience uh, uh, be in the courtroom? Is having a, a scan of somebody's brain uh, uh, during a trial, uh, lawyers like to put it in terms of, is it prejudicial or is it probative? And uh, is it not the case that maybe just having a picture of something prejudices the uh, jury to think that we really understand something when actually all it is is a picture through a time point that uh, may not in fact uh, to be telling you much at all. So one of the ob objectives of the uh, project in terms of immediate legal relevance is to look at this issue of how much neuroscience should be in the courtroom, how much of it uh, should not. So the, the field is vast, uh, and we're trying to narrow it down to uh, a few questions, and then actually uh, the projects uh, are encouraged, we're gonna, there's actual experiments uh, that are gonna be carried out where we have the, the most unique union of uh, neuroscientists working with uh, lawyers and jurists to sharpen a question uh, by carrying out a particular uh, uh, experiment. So, uh, it, it's very exciting, it's just starting, and uh, one should really answer the question by announcing that the project is going and not put too much meat on it because we're there to, to try to uh, explain, these, uh, explain these ideas and learn more, and I don't want to uh, prejudge uh, where it's going because I, I don't know. Uh, but th th those are the problems.